Hey folks, how's it going? It's your boy Pixel Machine here, coming back at you with some more Resident Evil The Director's Cut on the PS5. Hope you're all having a great day out there, and let's get back into this. So, I think we are nearing the final stretch of the game now. We have the battery and the MD disc, I think it is. MO disc, okay. What else? Explosive rounds we've got. Got some shot ears that we are starting to run a little thin on some ammo. Well, mainly the shotgun. Uh, I'm going to keep those out for the time being. Let's keep a space through. Space free, not three. <laughs> um, okay. So I believe we have to go back outside because we've used all of our keys. Just don't remember going outside so many times. So maybe this is part of the director's cut. I could just be wrong. I might have just forgotten all about this section. Damn, I love that. Just <laughs> love how they get blown to bits while their arms mainly just get blown off I think it's just one in it right so obviously uh, they're gonna be prowling around the courtyard that bloody dog again what what show up <laughs> So we're going to have to go this way. Hopefully there isn't any hunters around while I'm trying to escape the snakes. <coughs> I don't know if I can hear like a little click of a claw. Right, so the power should be back on now, but I'm just going to attempt to go back into this dormitory. Because I believe I'm going to need the crank. Because this will take us back up to the other side. And we should be able to... Like, raise that water gate. So no more water is coming down. And then we should be able to get back down the lift. I'm expecting one to like jump out around the corner. Nope, oh, alright. And yeah, we'll be able to take the lift back down to where the courtyard is. And the waterfall should be no more. We should be able to get whatever items behind that, which might be another key. Just finding this crank now. Got quite a lot of items. Yeah, I think there's only one more boss, really. 
So, the Magnum should sort that out. So, we can let loose with a bit of this uh, ammo now. Gonna be careful because whenever I make any progress, I feel like we're gonna get a hunter come at us. Right, save that. Right, so that should cut off the water. Obviously, we can't cross there, so that's why we brought this lift up. I mean, Jill could swim, but, you know. <laughs> it's Resi 2, in it, where you get that big gator or crocodile coming after you down the sewers. Bizarre. Pressing X for ages. Right. So no more water. Ah, so this is how we get down to the sewers. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes. So there's definitely some spiders down here. Just leave that a second. The typewriter. There's a hexagonal hole. No, not the same, is it? That's just like a square, I think. Yep, can't do out there. So maybe we'll find like some attachment for this crank. Oh, ominous music. this area for a second. <laughs> I 
Right, so all these doors have been opened so far. Remember this section being this big. Hmm, it's like a little bloody maze around here. Hang on. Might as well check this other section out. Um, oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, so there's two doors there. It's a power generator, but does not seem to work. Those bad boys. Thing is, I'm not going to be able to pick anything up. the top door. What's this say? Nothing? Expecting to see some spiders or hunters by now. I remember this area being very different. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? <laughs> yeah? You're alive! Wait there! <laughs> Are you with anybody, Jill? Just trying to what? drink my what? drink and I know spatter. Oh home. no, I'm alone. But why are you asking? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. <laughs> Who came up with these voices? Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! Oh! <coughs> Enrico! Who killed him, I wonder? Amazing. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. Or oh, a clip. Can't carry any more items. It's a shame. I wonder if he's uh, carrying anything else. Not gonna let me know, is it, if I can't carry that clip first. So he might have that other key on him. Ah. 
There's the other crank. Right, we're gonna need to go back to dormitory, aren't we? But now that this has happened, this area might be filled with. Yep. I knew it. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you make a bit of progress, like significant progress in Resident Evil games, you usually get some respawn. All of this, this is so... Yeah, it feels so good, blowing them up with this bazooka. Needs to get out of here, don't we? I think this crank can go away for good. I, mm. I don't know whether to get rid of these or not. If we need them, we need them. We'll uh, just come back and get them. Left us three spaces. At least these explosive rounds put the hunters down in one, so that ain't bad. So, how many do we have? So, we got 11. I can't imagine there being 11 more hunters, but I could uh, whiff a few shots. I don't know why it needs to tell you this like every single time you do something like interacts with an object. It should tell you it the first time, then the next time it should just say like I don't know. Make it shorter anyway. Like ascend ladder, yes, no. Or descend. You know, ascend, descend, whichever way you're doing it. So there's another hunter here, but I don't think I really need to deal with it. Oh, what? 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 How have you two bloody spawned? <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, so we've got the hexagonal crank, I think. Let's 
I'll see if this guy's got anything else. I mean, I'll be happy to take a clip. It's fine. I don't know if you can get the upgraded Bretta in this. This would have been the perfect point to get it like, if he was holding like an upgraded version. I think you can get like a burst auto Bretta in the other games. One bloody respawn again, but I forgot there's still another one in there. Right, hopefully we're hunter free down here. Do I have to stop it? Oh no. I swear there's some spiders down here. Or is that Resi 2? Because I think uh, most of the Resident Evils have some sewer section. No. <laughs> That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> oh, we've got some new music now. Oh, right. Don't know who's there. Doesn't sound like a hunter. Could be wrong, though. Got some more rounds for this bazooka, so that ain't bad. Trying to work out if this is a hunter or not. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> as soon as it landed. Look at that. Mouth wide open. <laughs> Just press the next to see if there's anything around it. I don't think we're going to the labs, are we? Oh, Jesus. It's a boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. These things. Just gotta run around them. It's like kind of like a mini boss. It's oh shit. Let me just uh, see what we're on. Oh, we're poisoned. Shit.
Whoa, that poison. Jesus, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not so faint. Some faint music coming through there. That's bizarre. Right, let's get back to this dormitory. Right, there we go, got rid of that. Um, what do we need? So, there's a knife that we can pick up down there, but we can take one ourselves. I don't think we need the crank anymore. I mean, I guess for, like, collector's sake, we could pick up that other knife. Do I need these flame rounds? Well, I don't need those bullets. Lighter would work as well, I think. Bazooka ammo. The shot you can get it done though. Guess I should take some healing. Plants for me. Um, let's just take this next. So all of the spiders have gone, which is good. I could 
I probably could have just done that straight away, to be honest. Um, right, so will you take the combat knife? Yes. I don't know if you can, like, actually get rid of the other one. Or it's just convenient to have that there. What's this? Oh, some ink ribbon. Nice. Yeah, so that big tarantula was probably a bit a bit more of a, like, a mini boss. I mean, what, it only took, like, three or four, little, three or four, not four, <laughs> three or four explosive rounds. Speaking of flaws, this is a pretty gruesome one, isn't it? It's all squidgy and squelchy. Lovely. Right, so let's uh, get out this combat knife. I think you can set a light to this web as well. I love how it's just like images, like one layered on top of each other. it back. Oh, a save room. Nice. More in Cribbon. It's been quite generous with the ink ribbons in this game, I must say. I don't know if the director's cut's like easier than the actual original or not. I'm not sure. I feel like I was trying to survive and use like ration out my items a lot more. Oh well. Can't pick that up, obviously. We will be able to say in a second. Alright, let's get rid of this. Uh, get rid of that combat knife. I've got two now. I can say for collector's sake, it's just cool to try and collect as many items as possible. Don't know if that does anything to the overall score. Keep it as is for now. I don't really fancy another save just yet. I just want to know if we get into the lab or not. Because we still have a few places to open in the mansion. Which is a bit bizarre. Let's use this eagle medal. Pretty sure there's oh snakes have just appeared. All right, it's nice. What's this? Okay. It's when the remake. That's like a little medi spot. Top-down view is pretty cool in this game. That's obviously where the tank controls come from, is like the over-the-head view, this view. Ooh. Right, so that takes us to something. Uh, let's carry on this way then, for now. I don't think we can get either way here, no. Oh, we do need that bloody thing again. So maybe we don't need it again. Um, I don't know. Maybe it might do something. I'm not sure. What's this? Oh, we've got another MO disc. All right. Two of them now. Maybe we need two for the power generator. It's a map of underground. Will you take it? Yes. Of 
yeah, I can see like um, an opening there, so we're gonna come back and get this crank. I knew there was something up with one of those like <laughs> crank points. It's a shame we can't squish those snakes. Because I think if they do bite, it, bite us, they do poison us. Which is annoying. But good job we're right next to the save room. Right, well, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, we will put this away. I haven't got any free space. Keep thinking where those empty bottles are is like empty spaces. Have we filled up the chest? No way. Am I going blind? I mean, obviously we could mix some of these herbs. I think we have. Can't stack like that, but can we... See how many of these we can stack. Six. Can we do any more? This is obviously freeing up spaces. So that's four, so this will be ten. I don't think we can stack that many. Oh, we can. Alright. Let's see if we can keep going. If we have any more, that is. Don't know why you can't stack them from the save to your menu. That's 13, alright. Alright, I think we're done. Oh no, some more. Like I said, they've been pretty generous with the ink ribs in this game. Mix some herbs later. Might just do that off stream. Another one. Five. So we might have already stacked those. Twenty-one. All right. Let's keep going. I think that's it. Let's start you there. Now we're looking for spaces. <laughs> there we go. And we want the crank now. Which crank? Gonna have to check it. Is that one? So there's definitely an opening there. Mm. 
Hmm. It's bizarre. Let's try this again. Maybe we have to do it a few times. Obviously, we don't want to fall down it. So it must be this one. This has got to be a bonus room, though. I would imagine. Hmm, I've got a feeling this... It's going to be a bit of a puzzle. There's a hexagonal hole. Oh, God. Right. Got a book there. Right. So we can't pull that, so let's use this crank and see what... Oh. There we go. Right, I get it. We're going to need to put that back now. goes to plan. This isn't too bad of a puzzle either. Another version of the book we picked up earlier, or is it slightly? Is like the the title slightly different? Doom Book Two. That could be another volume there. So there was a medal in the book. Maybe this was like a main story room then, not a bonus. I don't think there's anything else in here, so let's keep moving. But I did think of this bit when we f when we did the first like, hexagonal, like, rolly floor thing, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, right, so, I think that's everything here. Got that um, lift. <laughs> and so we're back into the car. Right?
Got a feeling this is where you put the medals. Yeah, picture of a wolf. So that says nothing. A picture of an eagle. Right, so we've got that one as well. Anything around here? It's welded and it does not open. Right. So let's go back and get this other metal. I don't know if anything would have spawned. feeling that I've left something but I can't think why it is. Got a feeling uh, that I'm going to need these MO discs soon. But I'll leave them here for now just in case. Uh, have I passed this medal? This must be going to the lab, but I really want to know where this key is. What other room? It's a bit annoying. Yes, hello, pick him up. No? Not today? <laughs> Weird here. There we go. So we could get some red herbs on those, I think, make them a bit more powerful. This, all this to get to the lab in the morning. <laughs> it's gotta be the lab. Some lab 
ladder's going further down there. Got a door here. Door is tightly locked. There's a plate on right hand side. On right hand side. On the right hand side. <laughs> Emergency exit will not open unless under first class emergency. Right, okay. Well, if you've ever played a Resident Evil before, you know what happens at the end usually. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes. Oh no, I really want to get that um, key from the mansion. Well, key for that room in the mansion. Let's let's have a look in here. I don't have another mansion key, do I? What I just totally forgot about. Right, so, um... There's no key, is there? No, no red herb? I thought I had a little red herb left. There we go. This is definitely the lab. Oh, I don't get stuck, mate. Anything around there is a no, right? Let's keep going then. Ooh, oh, no, 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 don't poison me. Right, I'll tell you what, it seems we've got tons of herbs. Just use one of these, get yeah, to get us back up to green, fine. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Let's carry that for the time being, might as well. I could just go and put it away. Yeah. Tell you what, let's get my Beretta back out if we're going to be met with uh, more zombies. Don't want to use all these shotty rounds, just in case. Because I do want to keep some bazooka rounds, even though I'm going to use my Magnum on the final boss. Another clip in here. Could even have a few more. Sixty-one, nice. No need to waste these shotty rounds if I've got these nine millimeters to get rid of. Another clip. Seventy-six. Think that's it, in it. Yeah, don't matter. I've got enough. Got Seventy odd. And I think fifteen in the clip as well. It's got like ninety something. Oops. Whoops. I 
I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know if it's kind of like Call of Duty or other first person shooters where if you've got like a small gun, you run fight, uh, you run faster, you, you seem lighter. And then if you've got a heavy weapon, you run slower. Because I swear I feel a bit more nimble, a bit quicker, a bit more floaty with the handgun. Let's uh, like get the bazooka on. I don't know, I think I feel like a little heavier. I could be totally wrong about that, folks. It, it could be like a placebo type thing, I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like a bit... Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> so much to look into. I doubt they added that back in the day. Another MO disc. Jesus, okay. Call someone. Not nothing in there. Um, let's have a check. Door lock system. So it's all for the... I'm guessing, like, the main system. It's electronically locked. for now. I feel like we've got enough. Just want another space free. Wonder how many shots with the handgun the hunters take. Must at least be a clip, if not more. It's all been pretty weird to be honest. Ooh. I don't know if these guys just keep getting back up. You do get some like that in the other Resident Evils where they're kind of like that fleshy colour and they just keep getting back up. Because obviously these are like the lab subjects who have been uh, genetically modified in a way. Anyone in here? Oh, it's, it's a bit dark. Would have been a nice place to put some, but it's got to be a light switch. Researcher's letter, June 8th, 1998. Dear Ada, so this is, a, uh, I believe, the same Ada that's in Resident Evil 2, Ada Wong. So, Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you are not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you are the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape, and may call this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with you'll need to access with our names first and then enter another password. 
I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Password. And then is that kind of like, um, I don't know, like old Greek or whatever. I don't know. Yours, John. Researcher's letter has been filled. John Ada. Something is written on the picture. So, um, tree, apple, man, woman. So is that pertaining to that tree, apple, man, woman? I've written... Hang on, let me have a look. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2, where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first, and then enter another password. If I've written the code below, I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Um... I'm thinking about that room in the mansion as well, which needs a code, which I still don't know the code for, obviously. It doesn't give you a chance to input anything. Seems someone used this only recently. So he's uh, probably still around, unless it was that guy out there. Let's just flip the switch just a second. See if we can still see anything. No, so we needed both lights on there. It's too dark to see anything. Might as well pick this up. Tree, apple, man, woman. It's electronically locked. A passcode panel. You don't have the passcode. Right, so nothing else we can do down there. For the time being, obviously. Pretty sure that's a hunter. Sounds like there's like two of them. What the hell? Can't see. <laughs> I just have to do that. Now that spawned in. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so there's a hole. Oh, an ink ribbon. All right. Loads of those. Bullets. <laughs> Power room. The door is tightly locked. Man, this place is uh, quite big, actually. They did put a lot into this game. I know it's a short game, but a lot has gone into it. All these different rooms. It's have taken them quite a while. Various devices and chemicals. Nothing useful. Not one of those machines where you can like spin it. Like spin the chemicals in the blood. I don't know nothing about chemistry, folks. <laughs> nothing special. Obviously, there's something here on the floor. Can't pick it up. Slide cartridge. You can't carry any more items, obviously, yes. So I've got to go back. I hope these other things haven't spawned. Nothing special. The computer is used to open the electronic locks. Will you turn it on? Yes. Ah, nice. So we need our ammo discs. There we go. Umbrella, umbrella OS. <laughs> something. Oh, Jesus. Umbrella? Oh, it is. <laughs> A computer OS. Umbrella Computer OS. R-O-P-L-S. Copyright. Umbrella Corp. Login. Um, is it not Ada? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back. Do I have to go through that whole sequence again? I wonder if someone's made Umbrella OS. <laughs> right, I think it's... Um John Ada. Could be wrong. Basement door lock operation. Mission denied, try and enter password. <laughs> All right, Jesus. <laughs> Just everything takes so much time. That's the problem. I don't mean to. Can I, um... Yeah, there we go. Should I try like that? Like, tree? <laughs> I'm 
gonna have to read this guy's letter again. Or I could um, see if I can use these MO discs. Because I think that just like overrides it, doesn't it? It's just like a, a boot disc. Coming back. Oh, no way. No! Ah. It was nippy. Oh, you can get around. Ah. Okay. Click there. the one Resident Evil where once you knock them to the floor you can use your lighter and set them alight. Don't know if it's this one. I'm, I'm not too bothered about trying. Um... Right, ammo discs. I think there's three. I think we've come back around now. Could be wrong. Definitely right, come on. I think it takes slightly less time to uh, kill him. Like, you know, after you've killed him the first time, then it only takes a, you know, a few bullets to drop him. So if I just put like, I don't know, 
Dan as login, will it say? And then put like Mon, I don't know. <coughs> All right, so we've got the login correct. So, John. Mission denied, try enter a password. Oops. Let's try like Apple. So we've unlocked B3 at least. This is still going to say the same thing in it. Material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape and make all this public through the media. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first, and then enter another password. I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. So, I'm getting like a Adam and Eve type vibe from this.
trying to think. Um, did we try Eve? thing what it could be. Sorry folks, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Let's go back to that picture. Um, can we pick this up now? I think I can't, can I? Ugh. this again. Don't know who keeps rearranging this stuff. There's something something is written on the picture. missing from this like I said I'm getting kind of like a you know a, um, an Adam and Eve type vibe because obviously there's the apple that are involved they're kind of like I guess like the garden of Eden so to speak but there's nothing else like I can see on that Let's press again. I'm just boggled here. Don't remember this one at all. This could be a director's cut one. If so, maybe we don't need to get into that room because I don't think I did this as a kid. If it's boggling my mind now, I definitely didn't do it as a kid. Um...
looking at those four letters. <laughs> oh, folks, I've got no idea. Another clip? I thought I already picked up a clip from there. Not two. Nothing else is there. Um, let's turn this light off. So there's, so down at the bottom right hand corner, you can see, which is the second letter, and it's the second letter in the file, in the researcher's file. That, so if that's woman, that's going to be O. Tree. E. So that's on the end. Man. There, that's going to be M. So, M-O, and then what's that other one? Apple. L. Mole. Right. That's all we needed to do. I think that's right. <laughs> right first, it, uh, it took me a little while. I know I wasn't doing much commentary, but I was just trying to think what it could be. Um, no, no, not that way. But yeah, all we needed to do was turn that light back off. But I don't think I would have done that as a kid. And that's even if this is correct. Oh, so he seems to be properly gone now. That's good. Oh, I really need to get rid of these MO discs. Yes, yes, come on. <laughs> right, so John Ada. So weird when it's not QWERTY. Like the little detail of the uh, like little green LED flashing, so it's like loading and processing. Right, here it is folks, here's the uh, moment of truth. Yay! There we go. Unless I did do it as a kid and just wasn't such an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, all we needed to do was turn on, or turn off that light, sorry, to see uh, the original symbols. Right, so now we can get to this, I think, power room. We've unlocked some doors anyway. Oh, 
Oh no. All right. Okay. Oh no, there's two. All right. Got to be something down here then. Two for one. Thanks. Right, to General Manager of Sanitation Division. From Special Committee on Disasters, Raccoon Special Research Department. This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Regarding the T-virus outbreak, which occurred recently, this committee conducted a field survey. According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T-virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar to the T-virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiment have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. However, there is also a very high risk that the ne this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially concerned that the state police and stars are intervening too quickly. We need to act on this situation as well. I thought that was a tarantula then, the way they're all like, um, you know, lumped up there, all the legs. Exact, excite, sorry, <laughs> exact, where did I get exact from? Excite 19 maybe, 1998, yeah. Or 1999 maybe, it's going to unlock. Running ribbon. Not at the moment. Most of them are fiction books. Nothing special. Let's just check like this side of it. And nothing special. It's like a weird spot of blood. It's a passcode output machine. If I had a MO disk, I could get the code. Well, I have a few of them on me. <laughs> I thought we would use these MO desks here though. Passcode 01. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, Genesis 22 16. 
not Steve Austin 316 though, is it? <laughs> right. I already have the passcode. Well, you can't use it here. Oh, right. So could this be for like one of the uh, that door like back in the mansion? Passcode panel. Oh, right, it's for that. Huh? Oh, do we have to do it like one by one? Please don't say these is a lot of comeback. Because this is going to be an extreme waste of ammo. find another ammo disc. So we must have opened two doors. This is one of them. Seems like he's gone properly. Seems to be some kind of research report. So I think I'm going to bring the lighter down. Because that's it, isn't it? So maybe we've unlocked this um, spot upstairs. Because it's B2 and B3, in it? So... Yep. I remember this music playing. Right, so this is unlocked now. Security system. Basement level one. Helicopter report. Executives and government officials only on helicopter part. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Passage to the helicopter. No one is allowed to enter unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All of us will be shot on sight. Jesus, all right. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level two, visual data room. Visual data room is 
within the control of Special Research Division, Keith Arving. The room manager is designated to have a jurisdiction over room usage. Basement level three, prison. Ooh. Sanitation Division controls the usage of the prison. Consultant researchers E. Smith, S. Ross, and A. Wesker, hey, Albert Wesker, must be present if virus is used. Triple locked door. No one is allowed to enter unless he presents all passcode documents. Passcode documents must be created on the specialized output machine by the chief researcher of each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervisors may enter. This restriction may not apply in the consultant researcher. Uh, if the consultant researcher has received special instructions, passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use the passcode output machine but the chief researchers. Um, basement level 4, top secret. Regarding the progress of a tyrant after the use of T-virus, remaining document is unreadable. Security system has been filed. So, that's where we found out, obviously, about Wesker. See, you would have thought that would have triggered, like, some kind of cutscene or something. There's a panel. Will you open it? Will you take lab keys? So we now like it's been up as you can kind of see a little bit, I think, what's been written there, kind of. Maybe not. Right, let's watch this. Right, so umbrella, ink, bioweapon materials. There we go, so here's our lab results basically, our test subjects. MA39 Cerberus, so the the doggos. Lovely little things. FI3 Neptune. I remember like uh, reading this when I was a kid thinking this was so freaky for some reason that they all had like names and they were actually created. Um, so FI3 Neptune. MA121 Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Look at that massive ass claw he's got. A blank one. <laughs> Bioweapon Research Institute R&D staff. There's Wesker. Still wearing his shades. <laughs> So as if there's like still no cutscene after she's seen, well, she's read about Wesker and seen Wesker in a lab coat with his shades on. I've got a few spaces on her. to get that bazooka back out. These have respawned, I'll be pretty pissed now. Oh, they have. have used the lab key. Nice. This key is useless. Discard. Right.
locked in it. It's red. Oh no, alright. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? <laughs> kind of bazooka or whatever that is. I think it was a spider or a hunter. Ooh, a save room, finally. You know what, folks? I'm probably going to end it. Let's see, we'll, we'll play for like a few more minutes. I'll just check this area out. Kind of reminds me of like whale music. <laughs> just like, kind of like a whale moaning in the background or something. Took quite a while to get to uh, that save room in this area. There's no reaction, it has no power. There's a switch, will you push it? There's no reaction, it has no power. Yeah, I would love to see more pre-rendered games now, like what they could actually look like in 2022. I think they'll look freaking awesome. Be able to put so much detail into them. You wouldn't even need it to look like actual reality. You could like just have have it as like hyper reality, like totally exaggerated. Right, there's an increment. Okay, okay. You can save your progress through this. Will you use the Incribbon? Yes. Right, folks, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to face that thing, whatever it is, tomorrow. We are one hour and 52 minutes in, so I think we've played a good several hours of this game now. It's a little longer than I thought it was. Maybe the director's cut is a bit longer. Maybe they've managed to stretch it out in some places, which I haven't realised. But yeah, still really enjoying it. Again, I could just keep going on with this, keep playing it, but this video is just going to take absolutely ages to upload to YouTube. I think we're sitting at about 26 gigabytes at the moment <laughs> um yeah so hope you're all having a great day out there folks if you haven't subbed to the channel already please think about doing so it will help out an awful lot trust me it will you'll get my videos out there in the algorithms a bit more and obviously if you drop drop some likes as well that that'll be very helpful just you know go on a few of my other videos even if you don't really uh Want to watch them and just give them a quick like, why not? You know, it's all helping out. <laughs> so yeah, this is your boy Pixel Machine signing out, along with your girl Jill Valentine. Or Jill Sandwich. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. Peace. Bye.